Hey everyone, I'm Danny from dannyburbley.com. I'm hiking the Pacific Crest Trail, and today I've got a tip about uh, sleeping bags and dry sacks you put them in. This tip comes from Matt from the uh, Triple Crown Outfitters. Uh, he, uh, so basically, short version is, I ordered a sleeping bag, I also ordered a dry sack which had these compression straps on it. And I'll show you what that means in a minute. And he said, okay, that's great, also, I have another method that I like to use. I'd like to show it to you. And so ultimately, I went with his method, which involves this dry sack. So this dry sack, it says right here, air purge. And here's a little picture, where is it? There it is, that little picture in the ring. It's got a piece of fabric that has a membrane where air can push out, but water won't come in. And because of that, it lets you do something slightly different compared to a compression sack. So I'm just gonna demonstrate what he does while I explain. Okay, so what he said, so basically he said, roll up your sleeping bag, or not, not roll it up, sorry, just stuff it in the sack, do your best, close it, and then he will take it and kneel on it like this. And now he's busy doing other things. He's like putting things back in Ziploc bags, make, make sure everything's good. He's busy. The whole time, this membrane is letting air out and this is slowly flattening. And what's nice about this, compared to a compression sack, a compression sack has like an extra lid here, like a flap with straps that pull in this direction and squeeze the whole thing. It squeezes it into a ball and it's kind of a hard thing to pack around, uh, according to Matt. And I kind of see where he's coming from on that. So instead, he's come up with this method, where he, he, I'm actually using, I think, a cheaper uh, dry sack. But you can see this is slowly flattening. This creates a different shape. It creates something that's flat and kind of fits the shape of my, my pack. So this is gonna sit, this is gonna be the first thing into my pack in the morning. It's gonna sit at the bottom and it's gonna be this flat shape. So if I step off of it real quick, can you see how flat it's become? Previously it was like this all the way around and now it's like this. So, and it is starting to fill back up, the, uh, the sleeping bag's pushing back, but if you sit on it and flatten it and then stick it in your bag first and then just start piling in all the things you're packing, you can get everything in while it's still this shape. And it seemed like a really great solution uh, I'm glad he, oops, I'm glad he suggested it to me. So, um, just letting you know, there's options there. You could go with the compression sack, or you can go with this kind of sack with a me membrane that lets the air out and just kneel on it. Also, I have to admit, it's nice to kneel on. It's it's a pretty rugged sack. I'm not ruining my sleeping bag, right? My sleeping bag's protected, and I've literally got something to kneel on while I'm organizing all my stuff on the floor. And I think that is also just comfortable. It's like the closest thing you're going to get to a chair, right? So, um, so yeah, so there you go. I uh, hope that tip helped you guys out because it helped me out. I'll catch you guys next time.